Travis, welcome to Bamberg, welcome to Freak City. Mm -hmm. um, yesterday you finally played for us, you had your mm -hmm. first game. Mm -hmm. How did it feel and how are you right now? Oh man, it was amazing. Um, I haven't played a structured basketball game since April, May, beginning of May. Um, so to get back on the court and, you know, dealing with my injuries that I've had, it's been, it was amazing. Um, I had a little first game jitters, haven't had those in a while, but uh, once I got that out, it was good to get out there with the guys and to uh, integrate myself with them. And um, it was good. Um, I didn't play long, but oof, I woke up this morning a little sore. So got to get back in the swing of things, but I'll get there. This morning, um, before we were talking right mm -hmm. now, I talked to a physiotherapist, mm -hmm. Stefan, mm -hmm. um, who told me that a little secret mm -hmm. that you were in the game mm -hmm. and you just wanted to get one shot off. Mm -hmm. And it maybe was best if it mm -hmm. wasn't in a good possession. Mm -hmm. So whenever you miss it, you don't feel mm -hmm. bad about the first shot. Yes. How was that experience getting back to shooting and dunking? Mm -hmm. uh, it, was, it, was, it was great. Um, I did want to get that first shot out to get some jitters off me. I didn't want to be a good look within the offense and miss it and, and get myself out of it mentally. So I, I had already told myself the first look I get, I'm taking it, whether it's a good one or a bad one. Hopefully coach understands, but I had to, you know, be able to calm myself down. Um, with my athleticism and my dunking, that was an issue coming in for me because I knew my body wasn't quite right due to my injuries. Uh, I've been working with Dom a lot to, you know, get my explosion and my muscles back. So to be able to make a play like that and dunk the ball in, in such a position where I didn't have it and great, um, it was promising for me and to know that my body is back where I want it to be. So it's, it's positive moving forward. Um, whoever comes here, we ask them one or two questions. Mm -hmm. um, they are, who are you and mm -hmm. what do we have to know about you? Uh, yeah, I'm a very simple guy, very simple. I like to come to, to the office, to the gym, get my work in go home and relax um, and I like to have fun. I think my teammates know that. I like to joke and have fun and laugh and smile because I think that's important in our profession because everything is work, 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 you know, and so when you're working this hard, you got to have times where you smile and enjoy life uh, because it's going fast and, you know, me, myself, I'm at 30 and it just seemed like it's moved so fast that you got to take the time out to find those moments where you just enjoy life and smile and so I try to do that every day and try to brighten everybody today. So. Um, hopefully I'm doing a good job at it. <laughs> um, for your career, you started college in the University of North Carolina, Greensboro. Mm -hmm. How was that? Walk us through your experience. <clears throat> um, it was a great experience. Um, UNCG probably wouldn't have been my number one choice. Uh, I had other choices, but I think I gained a lot of the, out of going to UNCG. Um, I gained a lot of brothers. Um, the coaching staff was great. They taught me you know, what they could. It was amazing. And uh, to come from a program, you know, with the Kyle Hines and Ricky Hickmans of the world, you know, um, I think it was a positive going there. Um, I think it helped transform my game uh, on a, in a way that I wouldn't have got if I went to a bigger school to be such a small school playing against bigger schools. Um, so I think it, it helped me in ways that, you know, when I look back on it now, it, it was very important for me and, and I'm thankful for it. Those two guys, have you maybe talked to them or are you aware that they have played here? Yeah, I, I was aware uh, that Ricky played here and uh, Kyle, me and him speak here, there on social media. Um, I think the most conversation I had with him, with him was when I was in college. Um, and, you know, I understand, it. you know, he's a EuroLeague legend, so he's busy, he's doing his thing. And um, I don't really like to bother people too much, but uh, I think he knows that, you know, us UNCG guys really appreciate what he's done for us moving forward because, you know, he, he put the school on the map and he's, he's put his city on the map for everything he's done. And it's just, it's amazing what he has accomplished. Okay. For your pro career, uh, you mm -hmm. went pro, first mm -hmm. played in Greece, mm -hmm. which from what I've heard was a good experience for you. <laughs> um, later on, you played in Finland, which mm -hmm. you then called your worst experience. Mm -hmm. Why is that? Finland was... The team was amazing. The organization, amazing. The guys on the team, amazing. Like though, I, I love those guys to the death. But Finland is such a a low level league that uh, I think it for my first couple years it, it it fooled me a little bit, you know. So to go from there, and I think I went directly to France. Initially, it was kind of a shock um, because I had my way in Finland, and it was it was you know easy and below my level, but. Um, and I think most importantly, the weather for me really just made it like, God, like this, this can't be it, you know, you know, that cold weather and then the, you know, the daylight only being a couple hours. So, 
Um, from that ex from that standpoint, it was the worst experience. But the guys, the people, the country, it is amazing. I'd recommend it. Anybody should take a trip to Helsinki and, and experience it. Um, how did your career go on? Uh, we know there was one station in Germany. You last played in, in Turkey. Mm -hmm. How was your career in total? How would you describe it? Um, I wouldn't say I'm satisfied with it. Um, but I'm, I'm happy for the things that I've done through these going into nine years. Um, I've been uh, consistent. You know, I, I do what I do, and I think people understand what I bring to the table, whether it's offensively or defensively or in the locker room. Um, I think I could have done better in some places, but, you know, things happen. You know, injuries, situations aren't always the best, but I try to make the most of my opportunity every time. Um, but I'm, I'm happy with things I've done thus far, if that makes sense. Most fans might know you from your, your time here in Germany, in Fechter. Mm -hmm. Let's talk once and for all and then close this chapter okay. for, forever about that one game that you had here okay. with the dunk mm -hmm. on Chris. Sorry, mm -hmm. Chris, we have to mention it. <laughs> Was it maybe your best game in Germany? Was it a game where you can show everything that you got on, with your game? Um, it, it, there were, I had a couple games here in Germany that I would say uh, really let people see what I'm capable of at this level. Um, the Bamberg game definitely was one that, you know, will always stand out for the amount of made threes that I had and then the last play of the game. Um, that And again, we also played Champions League where I had a number of good games. So um, I'm thankful for the opportunity that Coach uh, Callius gave me at FECTA. It was a huge learning experience and it helped me really see, you know, the German League, the BBL. And so I'm hoping to help this team with my experience moving forward, you know, to help them see with the teams, the league, the referees, anything they, you know, they need. So it was great being here two years ago. That's good. So mm -hmm. for now, it's, we'll, it's over. Please we'll leave it. that. <laughs> great. Um, to come to an end, let's come to you personally. Um, mm -hmm. I've heard that you are an outdoor guy. Mm -hmm. So you like fishing and hunting. Love it. But you're also a video game freak. Mm -hmm. um, how does that get together? Yeah, it's it's a it's a it's a tough balance. Um, I would say in the summer times, I'm an outdoor guy. Like you'll catch me fishing as much as possible. Um, when I come overseas, obviously it's a little tougher. You know, practice. I'm not familiar with the areas, so that's when my video game, you know, kicks in, and it's I get a couple hours a, you know, a day in, and you know, try to knock out some Call of Duty. But uh, I I try to balance it out and do both, but It, it has its seasons, I will say, yeah. How excited are you for the new 2K coming tomorrow? Uh, actually, I, because I play basketball, I can't play 2K. Okay, that's interesting. It makes me so mad <laughs> with the amount of fake stuff that goes on, so I just stay away from right. 2K as much as possible. Great. Um, yeah, to really come to an end, um, Freak City, you know the experience, mm -hmm. you know the fans, mm -hmm. you've felt it mm -hmm. personally. Mm -hmm. How much are you looking forward to that, man. to having fans again? In Ooh, man. I'm really looking forward to having fans in the Bros Arena. Um, I would say playing here uh, against you guys two years ago, the the fans that get, that left the most lasting impression on me was Bros. Um, it was a close game, and even though I was making shots, the crowd was still alive. They were still into it. They were standing up. They were behind their team until the final seconds. And we didn't really experience an arena like that all season and coming in coach Callius told us he was like you know, you know this is bros arena like there's those fans are going to be there this is a historical arena so why not put your best performance now and i told some of the guys i said when the fans come back be ready <laughs> like they're they're going to be behind us so we can either you know put our best foot forward and win games or it's going to be a long year you know because these people want to win they want it they want to experience that so um, I'm super looking forward to it because I've never had a fan base behind me, besides Effecta, yeah. but everyone knows that arena size. But uh, besides that, I'm super stoked to have these fans in here behind us and in these games and hopefully in the Champions League also. Yeah, yeah. I can tell you we're excited as well. Mm -hmm. We're really looking forward to having you here mm -hmm. and I wish you all the best for the season and thank you for your time. Thank you.